if you just got your dbrand iPad skin. Relax. This is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with two elements, front and back. A microfiber cloth is also included to help smooth down the edges. Don't worry if your exact device isn't shown. The procedure is identical for all iPads. You will require a hair dryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's begin with the back piece. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align around the lightning adapter and speaker holes. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the bottom of the skin. It may not stick perfectly. We'll fix that in a moment. Continue applying pressure around the back of the device from one side to the other. Next, remove the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the camera and flash. Next, Apply pressure to the exposed portion and pull out the 3M paper entirely. Finish by smoothing out the back surface. Next, let's apply the four sides. Begin with the top. Heat the flap, then wrap it around the device bit by bit. Repeat this process with the bottom, rolling your thumbs over the edge to secure it in place. Next, heat up the left side of the skin. Wrap it around the device from the center outwards, taking extra care around the thin piece surrounding the volume button. Repeat this process for the right side. Finally, heat up any of the four corners. Apply pressure to just the corner portion of the skin, leaving the flap untouched. Repeat this process for all four corners. Now, let's apply the corner flaps. The key to getting a seamless installation is by applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Next, grab your hair dryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb. Continue heating and applying until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down. Then, peel it up and try again. Once complete, any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. Repeat this process for the other three corners. Chances are you won't remember all these instructions, so either click here or return to the time shown on screen. See you back here in a bit. To complete the back installation, let's smooth down the sharp edges. Grab your microfiber cloth and rub one side of your iPad 10 to 15 times. The friction will soften down the sharp edges and make the skin feel like it's melting into the device. Repeat this for all four sides or wherever you feel a sharp edge. Finally, let's install the front skin. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the fingerprint sensor once lined up perfectly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, rotate the 3M paper, reattach as shown, and turn the iPad right side up. Align the cutout around the camera and outer edge. You may need to make slight horizontal adjustments to get a perfect fit. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. You may now remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the front surface, including the screen cutout, ensuring to apply extra pressure around the bezels. 
You may now remove the screen cutout entirely using the Peel tab. Done! If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.